I've had this shovel for 20 years. As you can see, I've probably lost that much of it in little chippings over the years. And so each of these chippings make the make, copper makes the soil more water retentive. So this actually benefits these little chippings. They don't rust and they benefit the soil. They make the soil hold water better. And they do not affect the energy circuit in the earth. So iron is supposed to be buried in the ground. We, made, we use it because it made lovely weapons, hard weapons, we could kill everybody and we made tools and we use it for everything now. But iron, uh, iron's like a magnet that steals energy. The natural energies of underneath the soil, they move in waves across the earth. Iron attracts, magnetically pulls this energy to it and discharges it into the atmosphere. So it kind of leaches the life out of the soil. So a farmer who's putting a tractor constantly across a field full of stones and soil, every time he hits a stone, a tiny chip will come off of his plough or his harrow or whatever and fly off into the soil. The rain will then rust that particle and then the soil will be covered in a patina of rust. And this rust will endlessly leach the life away from the energies out of the soil into the air. All tools, this is the shovel, this is a fork, a hoe, the old garden rake. For hand jobs, this is all the same, everything is the same. You have to use the right equipment on the energy circuit called your garden. If you use the wrong equipment, you will get your production, but you will not get your increase year on year. You can maintain, but you can't grow. Each year more, like trees, like nature. Each year more, each year taller, each year bigger, each year more. This is abundance, the path to abundance. Iron is the path to um, famine, really.